final countdown. Juwan uh, next to Don. Except my steed's not going on. Bring y'all post game review. Western Bulldogs versus West Coast Eagles. Yes. Yes, Lord. Would you, would you, go ahead. Uh, just doing the initial? Sure, bro. All right. Uh, just going into the game, bro. Uh, it's no secret that West Coast has been trending toward where we've been seeing this last couple of years, unfortunately, which is, is uh, this seems like an unreal possibility. Um, and unfortunately, it just seems to be coming true. Bulldogs, on the opposite hand, have lost their first game, but then have been looking to find form in the last two weeks. And uh, so, yeah, that's, I've been looking at it as Bulldogs probably should run over West Coast this game. Um, West Coast is without their best forward and the captain. And that's going to have a big deal, especially we have a team with a lot of younger blokes that need guidance on the field and don't have many games under their belt. So, we'll see. Oh, yeah, but you're captain for a reason. <sighs> So coming into this, this game, West Coast season was already cooked. <laughs> now we just fucking burnt, bro. We, oh man, we're ass. West Coast. I don't even know what to say, bro. Just, <laughs> it's about to be another long year, bro. Surprisingly, this wasn't a hundred point loss. But there's gonna be some. There's, this year. It's going to be ass. Might be the worst year for West Coast. We got a lot of young talent that doesn't play four quarters yet, that just isn't up to the AFL standard that we're just going to have to take some time and work with till they get there. But until then, I think we're going to be real familiar with that winning spoon. If somebody falls off, I don't think so. Because I think North, they going to get out the slump. North might have a few wins this year. But on the West Coast, we, we play our in good, like, 10 minutes. This, this game, we, we stayed in it until, like, halfway through the second. At least as far as, as, far as the scoreboard was concerned. But after that... Another fucking 80 minutes with no goal, however long it was. It was a long ass fucking time, and we are quite ass. And I think that's just gonna be the trend this year. Yeah, so uh, the way the game started, West Coast was pretty competitive in the beginning. Uh, at quarter time, it wasn't that much of a deficit. Uh, I think West Coast pressure was pretty decent in the beginning of the game, at least. Uh, and the dogs as well. The dogs brought it. Um, neither team was necessarily just scoring out, just getting buckets or goals just consecutively, though. It was a tough contest. Um, McGovern had a very good first, first quarter, I think. He stabilized and then did what he could to stop the floodgates from breaking open as early as they, as early as they could have. Um, and yeah, even in the second quarter, it was decent. Uh, I think West Coast had, in the beginning, had decent kicks to the point where they were getting to the 50, inside 50, but the inside kick wasn't doing too much. And even if they did actually get inside, it would just be a turnover. And Bulldogs made them pay every time, it seemed like, really just throughout the night, uh, just continually back and forth, back and forth. And, and their kicks were impeccable. It was just like, uh, they were very efficient with it, going inside 50. And even then, they would just kick. Like, it seemed like every kick was perfect perfectly kicked to the advantage of the forward. And they just marked everything, man. Um, and then the floodgates really just broke open in the, like the second quarter, where the turnover just, this is when the Bulldogs really were making them pay, uh, actually scoring and being efficient. In the beginning, it wasn't so much, but. Yeah, then the game, West Coast just didn't live up to the challenge to me. Uh, Bulldogs dominated a lot of the possession. They had over 100 uncontested possessions plus margin on the West Coast. So I just let you know how the game was kind of going. Um, and then just all most of the key metrics, just West Coast didn't live up to our, our match, the Western Bulldogs. I don't know just what it was. 
Yeah, we just asked, man. Uh, we might as well be wearing the little pink vest out there because we just a little training squad to these niggas. To probably most teams in the league right now, man. Uh, at this point, West Coast, we just waiting for our young talent to develop. We just know how to get our ass whooped where it might be. It's definitely going to be this season. <laughs> this season, we're going to be bad. Next season... I don't know, man. We might need a new coach. We we need to shake some shit up, cause boy, oh boy, worst we've ever been in history, and it's only getting worse. And he scored 15 of the last 16 goals of the game. Oh my God. Shit, we don't. Shit, we only had one in the whole second. Had two in the first, and then one in the whole rest of the game. Fucking 10 minutes before the game was over, so it was just, just an ass with all around. No need to even talk about fucking dogs. They, it, it meant nothing. It, it doesn't show anything about how good the dogs are. We just ass. But hell yeah. That's all I got. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. YouTube shit. We live right now. Tune in. Probably not for a West Coast game, because we ass. But you do fuck with you if you do stop by. Other than that, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga just got jammed up. <laughs> Where's your...